Yo, what is going on? Hope you guys are having a good Saturday. Oh wait, shit, it's not Saturday. Hope you're having a good Monday. I am, cause I am not working today. We are off, I think. Thank the Lord. I don't have to work all week. Um, I just noticed, like, why is that that way? That's so weird. Huh. But anyways, it is myself and Grinch. He just logged on to check a couple things. I've been on this morning kind of faffing around a little bit. Um... I didn't get much done yesterday because A, it was my birthday, but B, I had a massive headache, so I was kind of laid up most of the morning and early afternoon. Um, but we have kind of, I spent most of the day kind of clearing out this mountain. Um, and kind of moving things this direction. It looks like we are going to have to deal with some snow as we move the city this way, depending on how far we go. But I think as long as we like roof it off, we'll be fine. Um, the only thing that's going to be a pain in the ass now is taking all these trees out. So I don't know how far we'll go that way. Um, as you recall, on Saturday when we left off, we had made these guys. I did end up mirroring this to over here. So now we have two, um, the Tyrion production, uh, going. These guys should probably be full by now. Uh, yeah, they are. So when we've got oodles of that, let's check on our um lithium is full, which is a lovely. Um uh, Yep. Yeah. So I decided that we are gonna put our reactor, boiler, and turbine kind of right here. So that way they look a little bit more cohesive because it should be kind of in a row, I think. <sighs> Tea is so good. I think we will put our SPS over here. Oh, who are you? Oh, you despawned. You literally despawned as I got over here. You piece of poop. Alright, this low-eating melon is annoying me. There we go. Um, so everything is really kind of backed up for the most part. We have 73,000 substrate, uh, 16,000 biofuel. Uh, 1700 HDPE pellets, which I think should probably be sufficient. Why is my hydrogen backed up? Huh? Oh, I guess we. There we go. I didn't do that. Um, and also this morning I did do some more in immersive. Um, Cause we had kind of been really done with that for the most part, but I did make the Faraday suit. I did make the sawmill so we can fill this part out. And we did make the coker 
Now the coker has changed since 116. So now this is here. Um and I think the stuff gets dumped out here. So there's no I don't know if I like that. Cause like I don't I think that's to put in the stuffs. This is to get the sulfurized diesel out. But there is no item input or output. Like before you could run a um conveyor belt through the middle and convey it out but they just kind of plopped out here so I don't know what you're supposed to do with that unless they want you to like convey it out through here I don't, I don't know luckily we don't need a lot of oak dust so i don't i don't think we'll have to worry about that um and we did make another smelt tree over here so this is going to be for all of the tinkers stuff so like this blossom and blazing copper because all of this stuff needs blaze blood. Um, so I just set this up this morning so that way um, we can make it as we need it. Because um, really we should only have to make the uh, like probably like two blocks worth and then we can just make the chickens. Um, so we'll kind of make those as we need them um but let's just go ahead and get into today's stream oh, let's come out over here to mechanism okay so i did decide for our reactor we're gonna go with a seven by seven by 10 um so that way we can potentially kind of um run at full speed that's the hope the boiler we are going to go 11 by 11 by 11 so we'll have to go up into the roof one and the turbine will go 11 by 11 by 11 so again up into the roof one maybe 13 depending on size and need um but we'll kind of cross that bridge when we get there um so let's go ahead and clear out oh i still need to eat that guy let me eat that real quick so that way i can empty out my inventory a little bit more there we go put those in there okay so let's get into it i was looking ahead um depending on how fast we get through stuff today and how far and long we want to stream because i do have some stuff to do this afternoon uh, we might start hostile neural machine the hostile neural network for which we need the miniaturization machine this is why i made the gossam gossam or however the hell you say that that um but we'll cross that bridge when we get there so let's get into it um so for the fission reactor structure must be cuboid of minimum outside by a three by four by three and can go up to an 18 by 18 by 18 
in Decursio, we made a 17 by 17 by 17. No, six, 16. No, I think it was a 15 by 15 by 15 because we kept it inside one chunk. Um, and we could never really get it to run above a third operating speed. I think we got it up to 650 millibuckets a tick. Um, no, I think that was like 60% because we could do a, a little over a bucket a tick. But with the amount of sodium that we were going through and the heat dissipation, even with two boilers, and like a ginormous turbine it was still not enough so i think to run like the 18 by 18 by 18 at full bore you're gonna need three boilers and probably two turbines what's up cat how are you happy monday Um, but I, like I said, I think we're going to go with a seven by seven by 10. So let's make some figured out where you went wrong in the blood magic dungeon. Oh, nice. I didn't see much of that. I had gone over to my dad's by that point. Um, I guess what what went wrong oh we need iron sheet metal okay I haven't had a chance to watch it and they're two different rituals oh yeah I think there's a new um a new one this time why do I need Oh, for this. Uh, but you kept doing the old one. Uh, all right. So, Kat, while you're watching, because you had this question the other day in districts chat, and I may not have been explaining it correctly. Um, so, you see here, I if you try to craft this, like I don't have the pattern for iron sheet metal. But if I want to make the items for it, if you hover over it, A, it's blue. You hover over the plus. But if you press control, hold control and click this. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me come over here. So, iron sheet metal. So hold control, hit plus, and, well, if you hold control and click plus, it'll pop up the screen, but I have a bunch of these already. But here we go. Let me show you. So control plus, and this will pop up. And that is how you make the items needed or whatever it is that you're trying to produce the final product of, but you don't have a pattern for the final product, but you have a pattern for the items into the final product. So that's how you do that. I may not have been explaining it properly in chat the other day. All right, there we go. And now if, oh shit. Hey, full screen. There we go. So if we go fission, uh, make me 200. Go. Streak maintained. Thanks, district. I tried to start a little early so that way you could have the potential to join on lunch so you didn't ruin your streak. And I thank you for the happy affiliate anniversary. I think it's three years now. 
We have a perfect Gaia model and hostile neural networks. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping to start soon. <clears throat> yeah, so this is going to take a hot minute. So while we're waiting, <laughs> here we're doing budget prep. We are working on making our fission reactor, boiler, and turbine today. And if we get done with that, we may start hostile neural network. Almost as much fun as the user acceptance testing you're doing. Oh, that sounds fun, too. Yeah. I did log on my work for probably, like, 40 minutes. I wanted to check our scorecard, our metrics for the business month of August. Because that ended on Friday. Um, I wanted to see how we finished um and we look pretty good as as a team as well as um for my regionals team so we shall um double check that when i get back next week but i was like ah, i just want to see our metrics because i was intrigued um let's do five of those Logic adapters, I think we need five of those. Um, let's go with a hundred of those. And then we need the assembly rods. <laughs> yeah. Metrics are good. We have uh, eight, 17 different metrics. <clears throat> Started food tracking today. Uh, that sounds like fun, cat. Do, 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 do. You'll run. Did we not set that up? Did I not do a pattern for that? What are those things called? Uh, assembly? Yeah, there we go. Control rod assembly. Uh, let's go. Once you know what things cause it to do. Well, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Let's just go fifteen to be safe. And then we'll need some once reactor glass. Uh, Oh, that's right. We needed enriched iron for this. Uh, rip. Okay. That's the easiest way to make this. So, metallurgic infuser with carbon. Okay. So. Guess. Gotta get back to testing. All right. Thanks for lurking. Let's just go coal. We have millions of coal. Let's go iron. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't have any. 
Nope. You don't. Yeah. We'll just dump this in here. It will not be very efficient, but I'm not concerned about efficiency right now. What are you held up on? Dash plates? still slow you're the slow one I didn't put you up to the fast one yet I really need to move him up to the, the fast plate maker since we don't really use a lot of these so Um, let's keep it for now. But we're almost, we'll be able to get a check mark today in immersive. I just have three, three things to make, which will be easy. So we'll worry about that when we get done. So there's our thousand iron. Let's just make a bunch of this stuff. Let's go speed and energy. I'll go super fast. Well, I guess faster than what it was. Because I don't think we're going to need enriched iron for anything else. Let's just make sure. Yeah, just reactor glass. I'm not concerned too much about completely automating this stuff. Uh, so let's get the... Uh, Make a hundred, so I need another stack. Okay. <laughs> I totally forgot to do this yesterday. I meant to automate this part, but headache happened and I didn't feel up to it. I think two stacks will be sufficient. Um, I meant to do more chickens yesterday, but I ran out of time. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah, life gets in the way sometimes, huh? But the guy's battles went well. Nice. I'll have to go watch your VOD. Alright, that should be enough to get us started. There we go. That takes forever, man. Those advanced machine frames. Did I? Uh, I I thought I updated that pattern. Yeah, I've been. Oh, that's just that one. Oh, I don't have speedy boys up in this guy, and that's why. Got one of you. 
efficiency, speed and efficiency at least. Go faster. Get a processing. That's why it's going slow. We don't have a speedy boy in there. There you go. Now it should be faster. Let's check on this guy. Let's run out the rest of this carbon too. Actually, I think I need one more of you. You're waiting on something. Oh. All right. So I gotta remember. Because we need. We wanna make sure that this guy doesn't like overheat and blow up. Because we do not want to irradiate, irradiate the city. Because that would be horrible. Man, this is almost on. So it's 10 millibuckets per deal. And that's not too bad. Oh. All right, so that gets us a reactor glass. So five control rods. Oh, we didn't pick those up, did we? There we go. And we just need some more of these. There we go. So that should be... Oh, we just need two more ports. What are you waiting on? Oh, I'm just waiting on those guys. Okay. Yeah, same with that. Oh. That's almost done. Almost done. And while we're building this guy and getting things set up, we will start this guy. Actually, one thing we can look at, what is the Quintangla Porter recipe? Because I haven't even looked at that yet. Quantum and Tangla Porter. Oh, that's easy. That's a teleportation core though. Oh, that's easy. Okay. So that way, if we want to quantum entangle port some of the stuffs, like the tritium and the deuterium, maybe. Oh, we got to make fissile fuel too. Um. Okay. So let's get started on an isotopic centrifuge. It does us no good to do this if we can't produce a fissile fuel. So you want all oh, uranium hexafluoride. Oh shit. Okay. So we got some work to do first, chat. 
let's put this stuff up. We gotta make uranium hexafluoride. Okay. Okay. So uranium hexafluoride. I need you, I need uranium oxide, I need hydrofluoric acid. You are chemical oxidizer with yellow cake uranium, which is enriched uranium. Okay, that's easy. Uranium hexafluoride is sulfuric acid, which is sulfur trioxide and water vapor, which is oxygen and sulfur dioxide. And you are sulfur. Okay. So let's get started on that stuff. So we need a chemical oxidizer. Oh, personal barrel. Okay. So we should also probably get some of the boiler stuff going too while we're waiting on this. Oxidizer. No, not a thousand. I just need one. Thank you. Uh, so let's get boiler casing started. Um, let's just make 500. Make me 20 of you. How do you make structural glass? And it's like me in 2000. Uh, turbine. Turbine. Make me 500 of you. Turbine vents. Make me 300 of you. Valve. 20. Blades. 20. Turbine 10. Saturating condensators. 300. I think that's enough. Turbine casings. Did, didn't I start you? Uh, apparently I did it. Okay. Turbine casings. Okay, I think that's a good place to start. That was a hell of a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Alright, so we are going to need an elevator. Probably another wireless here. So let's get two. Let's get some cables. Boop, boop. Um, let's do there. now run you off that way and just so that way we know we're gonna need to export sulfur 
which we have 29 million of, so that's not a problem. Oh, wait. Do we gotta crush it first? Sulfur. Yep, we gotta crush it first. Okay, so we need a crusher. Let's get a crusher. And then we're going to probably want to tear this guy all the way up. We haven't made these yet. So let's go ahead and make a tier one. Uh, a tier two. Uh, tier three. And a tier four. <clears throat> okay, tier four. There we go. Uh, so two, one, two, three. So we want it to be start here so let's get great there I think we'll just do like so this is where we're going to start You can throw, you can throw snowballs from here. That is freaking cool from your dank. Who would have thunk that? Okay, so we're gonna need power and exportation. So we're gonna here export you to you to you. Like so, and nope. All right, so at least this way we have one item connected, so that way we know when we set this up. So this will be mech building floor three. All right, so let's go set this guy up. Let's get some anchors. channel there we go all right so now we're gonna need power we'll get it slowly go all right so universal cableage let's go with elite for now This way, let's get a flux point. Oh, yeah. There. Let's 
let's go ahead and turn this guy. Now, do I have to pick up the machines? No. Okay, we're good. There we go. Alright, so then... Let's get a speed and an energy. And now he's using 1800, holy shit. Okay. So now... I'll put you there. Because I would like to have kind of a backlog of this. And I want to push her. We're going to go there, there, and there. And we are going to push to here. And then this guy is going to push west. There we go. Let's get speed and energy for you. All right, so now we are making sulfur dioxide. Now, we should have an overflow for this. So well, let's get a chem tank. We will, we may end up having to scale this up depending on our progress. Oh, uh, gas. Output. Well, there's our sulfur dioxide. All right. So now we need to, we have the sulfur dioxide and now we need a chemical infuser with some oxygen. We should probably just make the oxygen up here. So let us get a electrolytic separator. Go ahead and get a speed and an energy for this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and get a water block. Um, let's get a couple chem tanks. And we will probably end up having to move stuff around with mechanism i mean not mechanism i'm sorry xnet but let's try some of the um quantum entangler porters can we make a couple of those we can so let's do that all right so we're gonna want space Go here, right? Put one tank there, one tank there. Water there. Boop boop. Uh, 
and the hydrogen, we want to dump the excess because we strictly need the oxygen for this. Actually, if we move, because that's the oxygen, so we need oxygen. Oh, we could do this straight. Yeah. Um, let's put. Hydrogen, so you're the oxygen. Oxygen, you, you. Because I can put the chemical infuser right in the middle. So we can put that right here and output both of these. Oh, where are you? Don't despawn. I've had a couple of these despawn as like I'm walking over to them. Ah, oh, I didn't get a shit. Damn it. Hold on. Oh. No big deal. All right, so let's save you, save you. The rest of this is just junk. All right, now there is that guy. Uh, it's making the reinforced alloy. Are you stuck? Oh, you are. <clears throat> I don't know why that one keeps getting stuck. Maybe I didn't make the recipe right. All right, so you are going to output. And you are going to output. See, we're making sulfur trioxide. There we go. Let's get those. Get one, two, three. Because I think this guy can take gas upgrades. No, it can't. So what? Wow, well, well, whatever. All right, so we are going to make uh, sulfur trioxide. Sulfur trioxide. Wait, no, that's sodium. Sulfur is Sulfur trioxide. Uh, you're going to be input gas all around. So just gas. And you gas eject. There we go. Let's see now we're holding sulfur trioxide. All right, lovely. Okay. Let's just put those there for right now. Actually, this to be safe. Spread it apart. Okay. Ooh, they gave us another one. Put you there. Okay, 
So we've got sulfur trioxide now. So now we need sulfuric acid. So that's our sulfur trioxide plus water vapor. And water vapor, you deconcentrate <clears throat> water. So we need a rotary condensator. Here is one I made earlier. You and you. Space, space. Get you there. Uh, let's get another water block. And we're gonna get water vapor. Can you take gas? No, you can't. Okay. I see how it is. Uh, so, water vapor, let's do this. Water vapor. And water vapor, I believe, is considered a fluid. Oh, that's item. No, okay, so then your gas? Input. Yeah, so it's considered a gas. Okay. I can never tell with these things what is considered what anymore. Uh, okay. So I get this water vapor. So now we need a chemical infuser again. Chemical infuser. So we're gonna want sulfur trioxide. So that is a gas. So this will be all output and we're gonna want water vapor that is also a gas okay so let's get that chemical infuser let's get Speed and energy, because we want this guy to be fast. The space, space, boom, boom, boom. You are trioxide. Put you there. And you are water vapor. Put you there. Bada boom, there we go. And so this will be sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid, so that is sulfuric hydrochloride. So that's going to be gas input. Do, 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 do. And you will be gas output. There we go. Sulfuric acid. Nice. All right. So yellow cake uranium. That's an enrichment chamber. So let's get an enrichment chamber. And let's tear this guy up as well. So tier one, tier two, tier three. We 
because we want all of the yellow cake uranium. Boop, boop. All right. Space. Put you there. We're going to put a drawer here. We want export there. And you take a guess now. Like, I can never figure out what the hell takes gas anymore. All right, so you're going to need an export. Uh, and we want four of you. Um, so let's go downstairs. Put you there, you there, we need uranium, which we should have millions of by this point. Yeah, 33 million raw. Oh, I need to teach it how to make uranium though, but it'll be fine. This guy should be go. Oh, I like that new, that new one. We're gonna put output over to the right. Let's get that functional storage. One of you. Let's go one of you for now. There we go. And Lock you, and I don't need to see the render. Okay, so that will keep us a bunch of yellow cake uranium. So now we need to make hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide. So hydrofluoric acid is chemical dissolution chamber with our sulfuric acid and fluoride. Uh, so chemical dissolution chamber. Uh, dissolution chamber. There we go. So I think it might be this one that actually will... Use the gas. Let's make a couple more quantum entangle porters for now. We're going to need an X porter as well. That way we can export our hydrofluoric, I mean our um, fluorite. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, so let's go space. So this will need export down there. Let's get that moved down here. Line, bada bing. Let's get fluorite, which again we should have millions of. Because of our fluorite chicken. So, now oh, you're red. Regular input. There we go. 
All right, so then we need sulfuric acid. So sulfuric acid. So that is a gas. I'm gonna put it all on output. Gas. Input. There we go. Um, boop, boop, boop. I think you can take it. Yeah. So there's our hydrofluoric acid. Let's set this guy up for that. Hydro acid, hydrofluoric acid. So that's going to be a gas. Input. Well, we feel our crops are getting bonuses. Lovely. Oh, gas. So there is our hydrofluoric acid. Lovely. Okay. So that is that one so now we need so we need to oxidize the yellow cake uranium with this guy oh we could have moved that down and then i wouldn't have to hmm Eh, whatever. So that's an oxidizer. Oxidizer. Let us get more. Because we'll just push it out into one of those. And we'll just transport it via quantum entangled porter. You know, big deal. Oxidizer, so space, quantum, space. We get stuck again. We shouldn't. Ah, you're good. So you will be making uranium oxide. There's another gas. So let's and can you see yellow cake items input. You are yellow cake uranium. Let's get a pusher. We're going to push down. There we go. Now, the question though is that going to be fast enough? We may. Oh. We may end up having to add a couple more if it's not fast enough. Okay. Mac feed energy. Can you take a gas? No, you can't. Okay, so you are gonna be what? Uranium oxide. Oh, 
what is uranium? Symbol. Oh, so just you. Okay. Uranium oxide. Now that's dioxide, trioxide. What is uranium oxide? Oh yeah, you owe too. Okay, I was right. Uranium oxide. Well, that's gonna be a gas. We just want input. So is that keeping up? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, so that's uranium oxide. So now we need uranium hexafluoride, which is uranium oxide and the hydrofluoric acid in a chemical infuser. So let's get a couple more quantum entangled porters. Look at all this stuff that we have for Freaking mechanism, good god. Um, let's go three more, sure. Uh, chemical infuser. Go. Oh, yeah. We're going to make it look nice as we go. Okay. One, two, three. Let's go. Boop. 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 Okay. So for this, we do need hydrofluoric acid and uranium oxide. So hydrofluoric acid. Gas. And then uranium oxide. Gas. And then we're going to need one for the output, which will be uranium hexafluoride. Uranium hexafluoride. Hexa, hex is eight. UF6. I was close. Uranium hexafluoride. It's been a while since I've been in chemistry. So that will be a gas. That will be input. Nope. Here's our chemical infuser. We have space, space, deal. So this is hydrofluoric acid. Two there. This is uranium oxide. Two there. Give it some speedy boys. Speed. You and you cannot take gas, of course. So this is the uranium hexafluoride gas. 
output. So there's our uranium hexafluoride. So then now we should be able to take this guy, right? And that just needs uranium hexafluoride to make fissile fuel. Let's go space, space, oop. Can I turn you? I don't like you like that. Oh. So this will need to be uranium hexafluoride. Yo, Nova, what's up? Thanks for lurking. Appreciate it, man. And thanks for the affiliate anniversary. Appreciate that. Let's get you going. Now the question. Answer that I thought. Okay. Let's get a speed and an energy. Now we're just making tons of fissile fuel. So now we're going to need two more quantum entangled porters. Now, the fissile fuel should not be um, radioactive. Once we turn it into polonium, then it becomes radioactive. Oh, damn, I'm out of tea on the water. All right. Boop, boop. Fissile fuel. Oh, that's going to be a gas. Let's turn everything else off. And we'll put you there. There we go. Lovely. We'll make this one fissile fuel here. So now we will be able to make our reactor. Okay. Let's get these guys. Start off with those and you and you for now. And we got two, so we got some more PB and J. Can't go wrong with peanut butter and jelly. Here. This way we know where our corners are. And then we can build. All right. Oh, yeah. You know, I might want to input the stuff from the bottom. So we can be like water, um, fuel, and we need sodium. Sodium in. Sodium out, 
So cool, sodium in, hot, sodium out. Fissile fuel, water. Then we need nuclear waste. There. Oh, wait. Um, bigger. Uh, so that's input, input, waste, output coolant, input coolant. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we'll send that off to the boiler. Which we should be able to input from the bottom, I'm hoping. I mean, it would look nice and clean. Cross that bridge when we get there. <clears throat> nope. Sorry, dude. Enjoy your day. Do, do, do. All right. All right. <clears throat> so next, get you. You guys and uh, need control. <clears throat> to there. Let's go. Boop. 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 I don't know if this will work on the bottom. We'll have to see. I ain't never tried. <clears throat> Over there. There and there. There and there. glass I don't think a hundred is gonna be enough but let's see will not be enough. Let's make another hundred. Do do do. Oh, it's like, wait, what? Why wasn't it forming? I still have one more side to do. There we go. All right, so this will have a 91 millibucket tick rate. So we should have no issues with that. Let's put an elevator over here. We don't have to run over back and forth every time. 
There we go. Alright, so it should be one, two, three, over one. Two, three, over one. Oh. Let's just take this down. So I can make sure everything is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need the shit. I need the the dealios. Um. So I guess that's what we'll have to do. And. Uh, I guess we have room back here. We'll put one there. What the f is for? Um, get a pretty block. We'll have to do it like that. Oh, new brass casings. We might have to muck around with the on off switch. I wonder if we could just do it all on one side. Yep. Uh, so copper. No, we need brass casings for this. Brass. Oak. And that'll be good for now. So we should be able to make those links now. Let's go back. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. So it should be. Um, I want to say comparators. If I remember right. Like so. Well, that's going to send a signal, right? This guy. And we want this normal. So high temperature. Like so. 
as ways. Right? Image critical. Oh yeah. Nord. Nord. Okay. So this should be normal with redstone I want to say I don't know we'll figure it out okay so we need walk no we don't need water we need sodium we're not not doing water So let's go. There's our sodium. Sodium's over here, right? Or sodium. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's get Got a couple more quantum entangler porters. We'll take the sodium over there again we will probably have to muck around with this a little bit for the appropriate speed of things and such Hi, Donna. Can we get anything good? Aquatic Iron Sabatons of Health. I mean, plus two health is not good, Donna. I'm kind of, kind of not impressed. And let's put you away, you away. You away, but you away, you away for now. And put you. So quantum and tangle porters. For now, let's get sodium. You see sodium. An A for salt. That should be. Uh, I'm gonna say a gas because everything else has been a gas. Let's put you there. Yep. We don't need, we really don't need the chlorine for anything because we're not, we're not doing the five times. So we really have no need for the chlorine. All right, so you are coolant in. The sodium. Asses out. So there's our coolant going in. So now we need fissile fuel coming in. That's this guy.
fissile fuel. Okay, so we also had a, a switch. Um, from create. I remember it was the powered latch. Right? Is it this way? I'm trying to remember. Oh. So we don't want that because I'll turn it on. We might have to go back and look. Because I want it to trip. So if it trips, I want it to not turn back on. Trying to remember back to Decursio how we had it set up. Um, we did it differently though. So I don't know. We might have to muck around with this. I think this was on the other side. Maybe it went like this. Oh, not like that. We want to repeat here. Try a repeat just to make sure that it goes. Again, we'll play with it. We already have two buckets. So now we need the, the boiler. Let's put that stuff away for now. Excuse me. Okay, so boiler. guy here a superheat pressure and structural glass um, let's make a hundred of you uh, pressure disperser go 200 of you because you should be easy and structural glass While those are waiting, let's get this guy started.
I don't want to uh, vein mine it because it'll take all of it. And right now, I at least want to keep the top. Hurt. There's our pressure dispersers. make it 11 by 11 by 11 so that is Here, so that way I don't have the lying mining bot nerf. I still haven't, still haven't put stable footing on my boots yet. Back in. All right, there we go. So now we should be at eleven. All right, there we go. Uh, guess we put an elevator here too. Might as well. So we are going to want sodium out, sodium in, steam out and water back in I'll put steam out steam and you will be can't remember which side is what uh, so you are that's out so you will be in So let's get some gas. So pressurized. Uh, we want ultimate for this guy because we want we want a big storage for this. Oh. I was like, wait, what? It's not formed yet, that's why. Oh, 
one off. There we go. Okay, that looks better. All right, so that's good. Structural glass. I, know, I guess did we? Oh, we just need the superheaters and the dispersers. Okay. Let's get this set. Dispersers. So these. So when it comes to the boiler, you don't necessarily have to make it the middle. You can have, say, a bigger water tank and a smaller steam tank. So I kind of go like 60 40. You can do like even like smaller, probably like 70, 30 or even 80, 20. Oh, like a so. There we go. And now I just need the super heaters down here. Now you can also have more than one row of superheating elements. Uh, Cause in Decursio, when we made our super large boiler, we actually had about two and a half rows. We were trying to get the three, but these were a pain in the ass to make. Like a literal pain in the ass. Well, that's gonna take a while. That's 10,000 buckets. So. 20, 40, that's oh, like 80,000 buckets of coolant. Well, I guess we can. I'll just cut a hole down here. Oh, we ran out of structural glass. All right, so let's make some more. Oh, we have some. Okay. And we're good. So I think we're good there. Okay, okay. What are you stuck on? Uh, simple machine frames, yeah. And did I lose some steel plating? Make sure, because that's not part of the fast one either. It is on the slow one. I think we're good. I mean, it does say that's crafting. I guess we can help it out, huh? Plates. Here are the plates. Do, do, do. Oh, man. Yeah, this is just, I mean, as fast as this could go, you know, it might be wise to keep stock of these in 
like keep some of these in stock like maybe a hundred like this isn't too bad anymore I'm not I switched it to here Those advanced machine frames. Dragon steel plates. I know the dragon steel is. Oh, actually, no, dragon steel is down here too. I guess we could help it out too. Like, look how fast that goes. <laughs> the Twinite and the Draconic, man, this thing just blows through things so quickly. It is not even funny. Yeah, some of those must have uh, despawned. I really need to switch everything over to this. Thank you. And you. And you. It should be... All the plates, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The immersive is nice, like early game, but when you're trying to do like several stacks of stuff, it is not the best. I mean, this just gives us time to build up sodium because we still have a lot to go. I wonder, would it benefit us to do another one? No, because that's this is producing everything. Yeah, I mean, we're making 108 millibuckets a tick. So we would have, I mean, I guess we could theoretically double it. We could do another one right here. Clean the inventory out. Let's do another one. Let's do it. All right, so we have one, two, one, two, block, one, two, here. Right? One, two, three, four, five, yep. Uh, two there. Put two there. Do, do, do. So this will now double our sodium production. Instead of making 108 millibuckets a tick, we can make 216. So, oh, we need to go up a little bit more. Still. Uh, one more. 
There we go. All right, so let's go give it Peter. Uh, one of you. Getting water. Oh, yeah. I need water. So let's put water here. Shit. Shit. Heater. Get the heater. Uh, you are entangled. The water block is. Oh wait, no, no, no. Entangled. So let's put you there. Let's get mechanical pipe. Fluids. Put you there. Uh, let's go entangle the water block again. I knew it was somewhere. Uh, fluids. Boop, boop. There we go. Er, oh, wait, no, we need the heater. Like so. And we need universal pipe. Let's go super fast. All right. I need some more mechanical. Ultimate. Thanks for the follow. Yo, Jiro. Thanks for the follow. Hopefully you're having a good Monday. There we go. And now we should be doubling our brine production. So now we're making... Really? Only 140? Oh, it's going up. Okay. Oh, because we're not fully heated up yet. Okay, that makes sense, makes sense. Okay, so let's get those guys. Now we should be able to finish this off. Oh. I don't think we're gonna need a double layer of superheaters. Could be wrong though, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so you're having a good Monday. Nice, I am as well, because I am off work and we get to play some Minecraft. Always a good day when you get to play some Minecraft. Why did you not form? good mechanism yes there we go i love mechanism it is fun i find it fun anyways um just because i like the all the stuff that you can do with it and all of the automation. 
So you should output water. There we go. Okay. All right, so you are in, so you are out. And you are in, so you are out. It allows to do such good setups. It does, yes. All right, so this should now... 25,000 buckets for boil capacity, max steam, 77,000 buckets. All right, so if needed, we could always double the super heaters. But we will cross that bridge when we get there. All right, so now for the turbine. Turbine. Get you, 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 you. So what are you up to on mechanism? We are working towards um, our fission reactor. Um, we have the fission reactor made. We just made the boiler and now we're making the turbine. Um, to kind of help with power is we're gonna have this run our SPS to make antimatter uh, once we get the polonium production going but we got all of this set up today too all of the production for fissile fuel um, to run that guy so we'll see how far we can get You should be good. All right, so the only thing I'm missing, oh, the electromagnetic coils and the rotational complex. We'll get those next. We're going with a small reactor this playthrough because when when we played Decurs the Decursio Project Expert, last playthrough we made like a super big one and it was just a pain to set up everything and i still couldn't get it to run full speed so we're just gonna go with a small one because i don't think we need a lot of antimatter for this pack the antimatter that we need a lot of is actually through FTB IC2, which we got that production going already. Because there is an antimatter um, singularity, but it's not this singularity. It's not this antimatter, which is nice. Because when, when we when we played the Curcio project, we needed like forty thousand antimatter. It was gross. We never made it there, unfortunately. Because to make forty thousand antimatter is absurd. Like literally near impossible, even with the max size reactor. I think it took my friend District um, five or six weeks of his reactor running at like 75% to get to 40,000 matter. It was gross. Nope. All right, we 
we're gonna fill the top also with vents. I think we can do that if I remember. We're just gonna have vents galore and saturating content trader. Okay. Events. For now, let's do this. Actually, now that I look at this, this is not going to be big enough. Let's go up one more. Go to here. I'm gonna make some food, word, enjoy. Thanks for the lurk. Yeah, we're gonna go up one more. Um, well, I guess we could leave that there. Question mark? No, we don't have to. We can take the vent straight down. Okay. I couldn't remember. All right, so let's get this one too. And we'll go. These have to be the edges. And then we'll do vents everywhere else. And then we'll fill the top with saturating condensator so we can turn the steam back into water. So vents. Like so, and do at least three. We may end up having to do more, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's get Electromagnetic oil, so let's do uh, um, I think I think the most you can do is Seven but I could be wrong. I Always make a little bit more than needed and then the rotational columns Excuse me Rotational complex and let's get some saturating condensators. That should be everything. There we go. Okay. So we want this guy to be the middle. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, so then rotational force there, electromagnetic coils. Uh, let's just do two more so we can make it easy. These are not hard to make.
like so and everything else saturating condensator uh, let me check my Let's vent on instant trainer. Oh, pressure disperser. Okay. The pressure disperser. <clears throat> so like this. And the rest saturating trader <laughs> all right so we're good there uh no 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 these need to be pressure dispersers this level. I'm not sure I can use the exchanging gadget on these because they are considered tile entities. We'll just break them, it's no big deal. Think I can do that. <sighs> Damn it. Knock him down. It's fine. Okay, so then I need these guys. All right, so then now we just need structural glass. Oh, we need the vents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we want. You down. Okay, so now we need structural glass. Did we get? Oh, we haven't done the induction matrix. Okay, so we got the reactor, we got the turbine, and the boiler. Okay. Wanted to make sure that we got credit for the quest. Oh, wait. Like, why didn't it form? Oh, yeah, because over here. There we go. So, what is our limiting factor? 
events. Mm, okay. So maybe sh we should make 15 million, guys. That's crazy. Oh, wait, no. So if we can get this thing to run like full bore, we should make 15 million. RF to run our SPS. So that is not too shabby. So let's go so, like so, like so, and like so. All right. So you are out. 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 So steam out. Water out. And as we can actually take it from the vents too. So, I guess we can try. So we're starting to get there. We're just slow right now. Let's go to one. All right, we're producing 12 FE, guys. <laughs> 12 FE a tick, let's go. How are we on fissile fuel production? Can we? We're still staying. Uh, fission? Should be water back. Now I'm making fifty. What if we went like that? That. Oh, I need water. I need, I don't, I need mechanical pipes for this. All right, let's, for now, let's just dump excess everything while we're mucking around. Still good, deer still good. No problem. So I need mechanical pipes. Okay. 
do I have to take it from here? Yeah, liquid water. Okay. Um, items fluent. Because yeah, mm -hmm. eventually this will fill back up. Okay. We're making fifty one RF. One bucket a tick. Fuel is still good. Let's go up to five. We're still good on coolant. Okay, we're gonna have to worry about nuclear waste of sooner than later. That's fine. Now we're making 257 thousand RF a tick so we are doing a swell guys I guess we don't need water to, I guess we don't need to recycle the water because oh we have the water block under there that's right okay Okay, so we need to start thinking about our production of, yeah, see that's still going up, okay. So in this playthrough, we need more plutonium than we do polonium but we do need both so how do we make polonium so that's nuclear waste solar neutron activated that's easy okay so let's let's make a solar Okay, and then now for plutonium. So that is nuclear waste isotoped centrifuged. So let's make one of them too. Okay. So how are we going to want to do this? So we're going to want it to go to a barrel and then we could just probably split it off from there so let's go set up <clears throat> a pattern for the barrel we should probably make the induction matrix too to store the power or the SPS um, so let's get Radioactive barrel. That should be quite easy. Boop. Uh, you know, let's make twenty. Okay. Now, the only thing with the radioactive waste, we cannot quantum entangle port it. However, we can entangle block it. So there is a cheesy way of doing it. So this is what we need, the antimatter pellet, but for that, we need the SPS. 
And for the SPS, we need both plutonium and polonium. <clears throat> so we're still good for now. You know, let's make the induction matrix. How hard is that going to be? Um, let's make a couple of you, a couple of you, <clears throat> excuse me, one induction cell, one provider, and we have this for that. Lovely. Okay. So, you active barrels. Mm. There. Um, how do we want to do this? Hold on, let's just, for now, let's just send it to one. Pressure two. There we go. Okay, so now we have 39 buckets. So it is 8%. We're going to entangle that because I would like to be able to see my production uh, stuff up here, right? Well, let's make tangle block. Oh, uh, yeah. Tangle. What? Why are you not showing? Why is it not showing there? So weird. Oh, we're making a thousand of these. Mm. We must have used a lot of those. I still don't understand why this thing is not working properly. Ah, well, whatevs. Okay. And so you're waiting on those, those, on those. So there's our five solders. Okay. So for that, guess we can just do it over here. I'm fine with that. That way we can just kind of port them over. <gasps> oh, 
We have to do it from the bottom. We do that. So when the sun comes up, this will start making it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right, let's take a quick break. Guys, I need to refill my water and use the restroom. So we will be right back. All right, we are back. Okay. Let's sleep so we can start making some polonium. All right. There we go, polonium. See how highly radioactive that stuff is? It's 50. Also want to isotope it. Um, where do we want to do that at? Take it from the bottom of the barrel. Okay. Oh, not and why? I know I, I know I made those, so I don't know why that that's not showing up, and it's bugging me. Actually, let's move this.
do this. Like that. Blue Tony Young, there we go. We just need power for this guy, so. Um, okay. Let's get Flux Point. Back here, it's fine. Okay. And we want Speedy Boys. Energy. Okay. So want to turn this to there. Okay. So we are still doing well. Coolant still going up. Nice. Okay. So now for plutonium pellets, we need a PRC with water and a fluorite. Okay. Pressurize reaction chamber. Polonium. Um, we want water and um um so let us try this. Let's entangle port them. All right, I want to just go check just to make sure I am not having issues. I swear I did the entangle blocks. Did I not? I guess I didn't. So weird, I thought I did. No, actually, no, I guess I've always had to shift click them in. Oh, you know, we didn't put anything for power out here. Just realize that. Ah, huh. okay. Well, we all have to fix that because we're gonna put our SPS kind of like. Actually, probably here. Right in the middle. So it stays in a chunk. We'll figure it out. Okay. So, this way we can. A little bit more productive with this stuff. All right, so let us go do the come down here. Uh, let's set it up here. 
H two O water. Fluids in. All right. I'll go. Boop. Okay. And then. We need to be here. Items we're also going to keep in. Um, and then top out. Fluids out. Top. should be able to do that right and that should have got water up to it let's go make sure of course it's raining um fluids input Fluids, top, water, fluids, bottom, input. I am so confused now. How about we just... There we go. Yo, Abby Navy, how's it going? Yesterday went well, and yes, I am feeling better. So thanks for asking. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're having a good day. All right, so let's get some Cables. And this will also help with chunk loading too. Because we do have the um, spatial anchor. So any chunk that our AE2 is in it will chunk load for us nice to hear you're doing good got your new book delivered so you're gonna be a hermit for the next couple days nice yeah i had got a new book delivered last week i a tingle porter i mean an exporter two three four and is it fluorite dust It is. Um, do we have fluorite dust being made? We are preparing to blow up the world if things go wrong. Hopefully they won't go wrong so we don't blow up the world. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna need a crafting card. Blank card. <clears throat> so if everything goes according to plan, we won't have any blow ups. Heavy Navy with the stretch and hydrate reminder. Thank you. Oh. Ah, yeah, let's see not uh, let's not sit on our cord uh, there we go and hydrate
Yeah, we will. We'll see though, Abby Navy. You never know. Right now, though, everything seems to be running good. But you never know. Things could go boom at any minute. We wouldn't want them to, of course, but, you know. Because if things went boom, then it would irradiate our city. And we would have to call in, like, the hazmat cleanup, and... You know, it, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be good for all of our villagers. You... Where's our second dust? Go. Oh. New guest for your basement. <laughs> Alright. So let's continue down. Good. Make sure no one's coming. Now we'll walk across the street. Okay, so then now uh, we'll come over here. No fluorite dust. Make me one, please. And then that should hopefully work if I did it right. Okay. So items, output, items, input. It didn't work, okay. That's so not the front, I mean, it's not the left, not the front. I guess it's the back. Cause see now we're not refilling. Okay. Okay, so now we're refilling here, but we're not refilling there. Okay. How about we just go purple? There we go. Alright, so now... This is what we truly have to worry about, is the spent nuclear waste. Because there's nothing that we can do with that. I guess we could turn it into solid nuclear waste? Huh. Nah, it's gonna be fine, right? So where do we get nitrogen? Be right back, okay. You're good. Um, so let's... <clears throat> oh. oh, that feels so much better. Do that. I think that's a gas. Or is it a fluid? Uh, no, it's, it's 
It's gotta be a gas. So if I put you there, and do this, gas, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. Alright, so... Okay. Let us slowly dissipate in. We could help it along. Make sure we're still in the same chunk here. There we go. Let's get some more ultimate pressurized tubage. We want the ultimate, so that way it has very large storage. Simply because on the off chance that these fill up, we want the storage to be in the back as well. Okay. So there we go. Let us sleep so we can get rid of the rain real quick. Go. All right. So let us make. Um. So what do we want to do with the polonium? Right. So that we need a PRC as well. But we can also take this straight to our SPS. But we need we need the um, the polonium pellets first. So let's do this. Um, we're going to bring back inside. <gasps> I didn't want to do that. Shit. Oh, I guess now you're there for it. Until we clear you out. Good. Put you there. Can I like have millions of magic beans when you next log in? Nice. It works fast, yeah. Nice. Alright, so why aren't you turned off? Okay, so we want to Invert that. I turn you on. Wait, no, that's wrong. Normal. Let's turn you on.
Wait, what? Why are you not turning off with redstone? But you'll turn... When power... Oh, I gotta invert this. Oh, that's right. Okay. Let's go you. Gen port. We'll be receiving signal and I need a redstone torch. This should work. Where now this trips turns off. Can I get you empty? Because I really want to break you. All right. Let's hope I did this right. Woo, we didn't die. We did it right. Actually, you know what? I think we need to send it through this. Now that I think about it. I think it needs to be. Because let's, let's test it. Congrats on not dying yet, right? So let's say this trips. Oh, that's not tripping that. Oh, wait. Wait, what? now yeah that's what we wanted chat okay so wait what Why is that? All right, let's turn you off. Because you are not working properly. Oh, because it's not the dumping of the power. Oh, that's right. Turbine.
We almost had a catastrophe. Okay. Good thing we were paying attention. Uh, so that is a cell. I need a provider. <clears throat> yeah, welcome back, Heavy Navy. Of course, we're going to stop it. We don't want an explosion. <laughs> he said yet for a reason, right? All right, so let's make a basic induction cell. <laughs> Luckily, it was only running at five millibuckets a tick, so it wasn't super fast, <laughs> or else that, that would have been bad. But I mean, hey, we got six plutonium pellets so far. I mean, shit, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. I probably could have done this better. Some of us don't want an explosion, and then there's Abbey Navy, right? That's this. I know I don't want an explosion, Abby. We've already had too many of those in past playthroughs. That's butter. Okay. What are you making? Oh, we're crafting iron. Okay. Come to expect them by now. Hey! Hi, hi, hi. Come on now. They're not that common. I mean, they're common, but not that common. All right, so we have 15 buckets of plutonium. I mean, polonium. All right, so let's get our um, induction matrix built first. We have a place for power. So, I guess we can put the SPS here. So we'll put the induction matrix here. I know it's vision, not induction. 
And we're going to need a couple more of these. But actually, I think we can use structural glass for this. Yeah, we can. I keep forgetting that. And that's a possibility. So we can kind of like see inside. I think that would be cool. There. Wait, one, two, three. Eh, whatever. Alright, no, that's an even number. Raise it up one. One more. Now it'll be five. Ah, shit. There we go. I don't think I've ever made one of these clear be interesting um uh, i guess or like now nah, we're not gonna need backup power because i mean we have we have enough power with everything with our solar so wait for that last provider like what are you crafting oh all that stuff oh supreme oh man that's a lot okay so we're waiting on basic energy which i think is going here for right now okay 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 so while we're waiting on that we can figure out a way to get our pellets out of here plutonium because we need So for these, not only do we need them for the SPS casings, but we need to... Oh, we do need the chlorine. Oh, okay. Ow. So, because this is required, because we need a reprocessed fissile fragment singularity. So we need a lot of... Plutonium. Huh? <clears throat> By the way, they're a little bit more crunchier. Okay, so we want to run this like constantly I will probably only do a minimal amount of polonium but I would pick ones that aren't there's some in there that aren't um, that one's got nuclear waste Eventually, we'll probably kind of turn these guys off. 
but we need the polonium to start with. So we'll continue. And it's almost done. Like, how many does that require? Good lord. Provider. That's four elites. Oh, that's... That's a lot of steel casings. Oh, yeah, so I guess that's why we need the machine frames I wish there was an easier recipe for this but whatevs is there a polonium chicken I don't think so cat no polonium or plutonium chicken so yeah I mean, there is a way to break it down through alchemistry. And then you can combine it with sodium chloride to make this. So, I mean, you could do it through alchemistry, but that seems like a pain in the butt. I think it's just easier to do this and then combine chemically inject it with hydrogen chloride or salt oh good excuse me How do we, how are you going to want to do this? Um. Hmm. We might end up having to entangle this guy. Pull it out that way, or maybe we just push it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Do this. Uh, let's get upgrade. Uh, items. Output. We can just do that, right? So we'll store a whole bunch of plutonium plutonium up here. That way if we need it, we have it for crafting. I'm sure that wasn't like a quest or anything. And then we can put our PRC over here. We our chemical injector. All right, so let's start working on hydrogen chloride. That's chlorine and hydrogen. Let's bookmark you and chemical infuser. Okay. So while we're waiting on those providers, chemical and oh, there's our provider. I guess. I'm I need to wait for that other one though. That guy. So then we can do the induction matrix. Oh, I got two. Meant to look last night and forgot. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Oh, it wants a basic provider too. Shit. Really? Basic writer. I guess that won't take too long. 
Do, do, do. Crafting. Crafting. The last piece. Oh, so one's 34. So two more. I mean, means we made it, we might as well put them in here so they don't go to waste. Oh, this will hold 1.6 billion. Universal. Uh, I thought I had some of that. Apparently I didn't. Okay. There we go. Now we can turn it back on and it won't blow up yet. That should come in here now. Slowly, but surely. And we'll eventually make alone plutonium. We'll probably make plutonium at night and polonium in the daytime. So let's bump this up. Now we're still doing good. Now we're making 500,000 RF a tick. And that's nothing to sneeze at. Okay. So we have chlorine here that right now we're just we're dumping. But we need to do something with chlorine. Oh, uh, chat disconnected. Oh, how bad are the quantum entangler porters? They're actually not bad at all. Um, they're, I mean, you gotta get the atomic alloys, but that's it. Like, I've made, I've made a ton of them. Sorry, I saw your polonium chicken comment and then meant to look last night. I missed the quantum entangler porter question. Sorry, can't. My bad. Walk. I wasn't trying to ignore you, I promise. Let's untangle you. Need some better power transfer options. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're not. It's easy. It's nowhere near as hard as the Curcio was. That's for sure. That is for sure. Okay. So we need... Flux isn't fast enough. Really? Like, even if you take the the cap off? Because they, Flux should be, like, instant. There should be no cap. Like, if you look, like, right now, the transfer limit, if I wasn't bypassing the limit, is 800,000 a tick. 
But you can bypass the limit or you can just make this as high as you want. And because normally flux is like instant. I'll check the plug and see if it's not talking all right. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the thing with flux too is you can you can limit the output as well. So say if you only wanted it to spit out say 5,000 RF a tick, you could change that 800,000 to 5,000. <clears> I mean, you, you can make it whatever you want. Not pulling all the power being generated by the alternators. Yeah, it might, that might be uh, an issue with your intake then. Because with the alternators, um, it should be able to handle all of that, honestly. Okay, so we need... you uh some pressure because your alternators aren't making that much power oh shit Put this to gas Oh, I didn't put the output there. Like 15 of them now, but even still, I think the alternators only make not even 300 a tick. There we go. So that might be the limit, say, of your basic. Um, universal cable. Alright, so I need hydrogen now. Okay. What? I think I have excess hydrogen down here. Hydrogen, yeah, that I'm just dumping the excess of. So I could tangle that. I mean, quantum and tangled cord. The spicy. I shouldn't have hydrogen. Don't. Hydrogen. 360 per, and the steam is running pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I think the basic universal cable, that sounds to be about the limit. Actually, I wonder if I could do this. Hydrogen. That's gonna hold our hydrogen. For that or the cable, yeah, yeah. Cause I think the basic, yeah, the basic universal cable can only do 3,200. So if you're above that on your power gen, then it's only gonna do 3,200. I 
hydrogen. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. All right, so there is our hydrogen chloride. Some elite tables. Like I'm using elite for everything and that's like 400,000. Um, speed, energy, can you do gas too? No, you can't. All right, so I need two more quantum entangled porters. We should be, yeah, see, look, now we're making plutonium at a better clip. We're already up to eight. Well, that's still good. So let's go up to 20. Well, I think we're still good. Boop, boop. So this will be hydrogen chloride, HCl, hydrogen chloride. That is a gas. See who you are, George. You got anything good, George? No, probably not. Leather tunic, prop four. Mm. Yeah, whatever, we can break it down at minimum. Oh, we still got to figure out um, polonium production. Can't forget that. Okay. So you are hydrogen chloride. So then we need to chemically inject that. Chemical injector. Get you. Check. Oh, we gotta do something with the polonium. Where are you at? Ah, it's only 4%. We're good. Fuel is not going down. Sodium is still going up. And we're good. We're still good over here. And we're making a million RF a tick now, which is nice. Okay. I guess that's the first time we made a chemical injector. Okay. Um, I guess. All right, so this will be hydrogen chloride. That is a gas. 
do what I want. Output. Hydrogen chloride. There we go. And then we can get from here to here. Boop, boop. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? Uh, I am dead. How's your Monday going? Uh, so I think we'll just... Those up, you're doing good, nice. I am doing well as well. No complaints. It's a Monday and I'm not working. I am off today, so. But let's save those for now because we're going to need them for the SPS casing. You're not working today either, nice. It's always, always true for every day. Ah, uh, looking for a job. Ah, uh, word. Well, if you find one, man. Yeah, I took this week off. So I can play. Um, well. Um. I'm in management, let's just say that. I don't wanna like dox myself, so. No, not a CEO, I'm not that high. I'm a low level manager. Look, we're good. Okay. Let's fix this. Well, that should be the end of that line. Okay. So what did we need to do again for the polonium? That's also a PRC with water. We need another PRC. We can bring this guy, I guess, over here. Wait. Uh, so go space, uh, block, here we go. Uh, let's get an entangled block. Put you there for now. This is a Ragnamod 7. Um, it is a path by MLDEG. He's a French streamer. And really any of the Ragnamod series is pretty good. We played Ragnamod 6 um, a couple years ago. Oh yeah, I don't know French either. Um, well, let me rephrase that. I know very little. Um, I took French in high school, which was like a long time ago. That's about... Mine is bonjour. Every now and then I can understand some words, but. Uh, he also does speak English. Um, but you need to take Arabic in school. Oh, that'd be fun. Oh wait, this has to be the bottom. If I do that. Oh. 
I guess will that work? Oh word, it does. Okay. Um, so this also needed water. So let's get our water. You can have conversations in three different languages and try to study it forth. Nice, dude. That's cool, man. Yeah, I know a little Spanish, little French, and of course English. Okay. So then now we need... Fluorite dust as well. Uh, yep, I am American. I am in the USA. Two, three. And we're going to need a crafting card. Do, do, do. You're far, far away from the US, uh, word. Yeah, we have some people kind of everywhere that hang out in the my friend's Discord. Uh, nah, refined storage is not on this one. Oh, it's only AE2. It can be. Yeah. But this uh, AE2 for 118, because this pack is 118. Um, it's made, uh, well, the channels are on here. And the version that we're playing, we play with the channels. Um, but I'm pretty sure, like, in the config, you can turn those off. Items put on the bottom. Why are you not working? Oh wait, no, 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 we're on the right side. Ah, there we go. Um, but the... Not the channels, but like the storage, like the disk drives are a little bit easier in this pack. Because um, 118 has like disc, like these guys. So this is just like refined storage. So you don't have to worry about it only storing like 63 different items. It can store like a bazillion. But of course you still have to worry about the channels. Okay, so Oh, it's an extension mod. Ah, uh, word. Okay. I just know this is the first pack that we've played with AE2 that has that in there. I've never seen it before, so it was interesting to say the least. Channel, yeah, yeah. I knew the channels could be turned on and off. How do we want to do this? Guess we just tangle that guy. For the nuclear waste. We can bring it down here. Put 
you there. There. Pressure. Uh, gas. We'll put gas eject out on the top. <laughs> we'll put that. Yes. Hey, there we go. So now we are making polonium pellets and plutonium pellets. I guess I could have put that over here. But, eh, whatever. I don't think we have enough for the nuclear trash bins. Yeah, not yet. Um, this thing is, we're only running 20 millibuckets a tick right now. So I will add more waste barrels. Because right now it's only two buckets each. About to be three yeah there went three right there but this can hold a lot too i'm not too concerned just yet yeah that's going away that's a steady And you are still making polonium, lovely. So let's... Lock. Lock. And I don't need the render. Nope. Okay. So... I didn't really think we would get this far. Well, that gives me another one. Ugly, okay. I guess we can go ahead and try to make the, uh, the SPS. All right, so I have for 60 SPS casings. What are we gonna need? So we need 240 polonium. Ooh, yeah, we'll have to wait for that. Cause that's gonna take, that's gonna take a while. And we need 60 of those. So yeah, that's gonna take a while too. Okay. There we go, that's good. Now the question is, I probably need a cable down there so I can, actually I should, I would rather make sure that this is force loaded. Make sure, sure. Can we go up to 40? I mean, we're still good. So how much, how much fissile fuel are we producing? Two forty four, two hundred forty four millibuckets. Oh, so we should be able to do 90. We should be able to run this thing at 100%. Because that's still good. We're at 2 mil a tick. We're going to need some more induction cells, though. You know, just for shits and giggles. I can make that. It's going to take a hot minute. 
you know, let's let's do the let's follow the quests, right? Let's make an advanced cell and provider. Before we jump up, oh. you no, know, just for fun. Let's go. I do one. Oh. What happened there? Why did that disable? Did the heat go up too much? Maybe, maybe it was the heat. Let's go back down to 40. Alright, let's go 50. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're not ready there yet. Okay, so we do 45. Be good on heat? Nope. So right now, 40 is our max. Yeah, we gotta wait for this guy to fill up first. Okay, so um eventually we should be able to do 90 we just have to work our way there we just need more stuff i mean two mil a tick is not bad this will eventually fill up i mean We've already got it 40% just through today's stream, so probably by the time we come back on Saturday, we should be able to probably crank that bad boy all the way. Oh, you don't have any upgrades. Let's give you some upgrades. Okay. So you're upgraded. You're upgraded. Okay. There's those two. And you're gonna give me another one. So now let's make the elite. Um, there we go. Let's put you away. Let's make an elite cell and provider. All right. While that is working, let's go get a check mark. Let us finish immerse it. So I think for immersive, hey, what what check mark? Oh, there it is. Like, where do I gotta get? So for immersive, we just need. A floodlight, a thermo electric generator, and the HV sets. So let's do. I'm gonna spell it right. Floodlight. Oh, silver plate. Okay, so glass, paper, and copper for components. So glass, paper, and copper. Okay. Copper, yes, and paper. Um, I think my bench is still over here. Our starter area. Component. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, 
That works. And then silver. Like we haven't had to make silver plates for anything yet. Alright. Blood light. Well, there's a floodlight. Well, that gives us a stack of torches. Lovely. Just what I needed. So, thermoelectric. There we go. And then we just need the HV sets. So, you. <laughs> One of you. Oh, we don't have the glass? Really? Have we not had to make this yet? Glass and iron. Dust. Apparently not. So make me a stack. We'll go make a stack of this, because I don't know how much more we're going to need. We haven't needed it at all so far, so. Wait, nope. There we go. Unfortunately, you can't make these unbreakable, which is dumb. Don't know why. But I tried to put one of those Eternal Stellas on there. And it didn't work. So, you can't make unbreakable electrodes. Is it? Huh. Oh, it's interesting. Okay. So was it using two at a time on the glass? I guess so. Yeah. Oh, it's like a two to one. Interesting. That should, oh, I don't, actually, I don't think two, four, right, 14, yeah, we'll end up having to combine it at the end. Mm -hmm. I might as well take this out too, so we don't leave all this iron dust in there. There we go. Let's get you. And then now we will make Ultimate cell and provider. And then we'll chuck those in the matrix once we get there. Alright, so back to HV. Will you? Then what was the last thing that we needed? Oh, we just need the HV wire coil. Okay. Should be. Ooh, aluminum wire? Oh, I guess we haven't had to make this yet. Okay. Ooh, aluminum. Let's go. Make that. 
Healer in the wire. There we go. Then now we should be able to make wire and get our check mark. GG. So there is another check mark for us. I think that's number three now. So let's get us sign. Let's claim our trophy. And you think, oh, look at this one. This looks cool as shit. It's the coker. Can't put a sign there? Piece of shit. Where's that? Oh. Engineering. Did I spell that right? Oh, I guess because the carpet's there. Look how cool that looks! So we'll just put you there. there. So when you come in and you walk, you're like, oh, immersive engineering. Look how pretty that looks. All right, and I think we can also get our spirit one, two, because we just need the soul cage. So that's four blocks and a broken spawner. So four blocks. And we just need a broken spawner. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Check mark number two today. GG. I mean, not that we're gonna, we're not gonna use it, but I'll take the soul steel back. Hear it. GG times two. Oh, look at that. It's a spirit of our avatar. Oh my God, that's so cool. Look at that. Spirit. 26, 24. So we got this guy, Nature's Aura. That's so two avatars, but this one looks cooler, I think. GG. And are we close to any other ones? Take a look, because I can't remember. Titanium, we haven't even started. Chickens, evil craft, we can't complete yet. Blue skies, we're almost there. We could actually go run a dungeon if we want. Why, no, nope, nope. Oh, we can finish up Pneumaticraft. I just need the 
Pneumatic dynamo, flux compressor, okay. Pneumatic dynamo. Flux compressor. And then we need the suit. The pneumatic armor. Okay. That should be not too hard. I think that's just... Um... Leather tunics. Uh. Press. Oh, I thought that was, um, Freaking, whatchamacallit, netherite. All right, and that. Helmet, body, pantaloons, and the booties. Armor stand. Put this guy in here. Yeah. He'll be our doorman. There we go. And I think we just need the ha last half of the plastic blocks. Yep. We need lime, cyan, light blue. Uh, wait, no. What was that called? The light blue. Cyan. Lime green. Grays and black. Gray. Gray, black, and then magenta, and then that should be a Minecraft. Wait, what am I missing? Oh, brown. Like, wait, what was I missing? Brown? Check mark number three today. Got another sign. Guess we'll claim that. Pneumatic craft. Where is you? Right here. Oh, that is. So it's the pneumatic craft armor. Okay. Do there. Pneumatic craft. And 26, 24. I still think this one looks the coolest so far. Not gonna lie. That one and occultism look cool. Because they're both like in game 
for their mods. All right. All right, tools, we got some time to go. Industrial foregoing, got some time to go. Mechanism, we got a ways to go. And we haven't even started that one yet. Ah, my ear. <clears throat> Finder. Like why? Like, why do I need more of those? Like, you just had me make like eight of every color. Why, why do I need more? Oh, that one's gonna take a while. Like, I haven't used a single shulker to this playthrough either. All right, let's go add these signs. So I got the trophies down there. I just haven't added the signs yet. All right, so occultism, you know, let's put you there. Occultism. 720 and 24 and oh I spelled that wrong nature's aura was 8 10 24 there we go you walk in check marks left and right I mean we got three of them today poor district I mean, he's having fun in his own way, so that's all that matters. That is all that matters. Yeah, we're still like more than half away from that. All right, so let's take these for now. Boop, boop. And honestly, I'm sure he's not too far. Yeah, exactly. He'll get a handful real quick. Like he's got a lot of mods started and worked. He just needs to go back and finish them is all. Just like me, that's what I was kind of looking at this morning. I think on Saturday we will work towards these two guys here and make the SPS and the fusion reactors. Um and towards antimatter so i think antimatter will be our end goal and then we'll probably finish out blue skies and then we need to start power because we need I think dielectric paste for hostile. No, no, we need miniaturization for hostile neural network. So I have Gossam. So I'll make the Gossam chicken this week so we get that started. We have the dash. We have the plastic, so we'll be able to get started.
started on hostile neural network. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. And um, polymer clay. Oh, oh, frostial. Let's bookmark that one so I remember to do that chicken. So we'll get frostial. I already have endurium. I already have clay. Okay, so we need that for the polymer. Okay. We are on a TS edition made by Vades. This version allows me to control the evolution of data models and for changed ways in which you will upgrade your data. Uh, we will work on that Saturday, cat. Read the quest log. Because I, I didn't eat lunch today. I was too excited to stream. I wasn't really hungry hungry, but I'm getting hungry now, so... We will do, we will work on antimatter and hostile neural networks on Saturday. We should be able to get those going, not a problem. And then probably finish out blue skies. I found the other two dungeons. So we just need to go beat those. If, if we get lucky and get the alchemist and I know where this is. And then we just gotta make this. And then we'll finish it out. What, hostile neural networks? Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed deep, mer deep mob learning. Which was basically the predecessor to hostile neural networks. And then honestly, I'm looking forward to alchemistry because i really enjoyed alchemistry when we did it in chroma one um that was the last time that we played with alchemistry and we made the gigantic um periodic table that was cool See, now we can hold 3.2 T, so we just doubled it. My only thing, though, is... For now... We need to trash this. Question though, is there a way to... Eh, we'll worry about that. For right now, I don't want it to back up and explode on us. So we will just trash it. So we're inputting 2 million, we're outputting 3 million. So right now we will not overload and blow up. Can we go up to 42? We'll look at it go, nope, nope. 41? Oh. Temperature is rising at 41. Oh, okay. So let's go back to 40. 
now. Okay, so we can't yet. Okay, so we have to let that run for <clears throat> a while. Jesus Christ. There we go. Screenshot for today. As of sixteen. All right. Well, I think we got pretty far today, guys. We got a reactor set up. Pretty nice. I could probably do this a little bit better, but whatever. I don't know if I need to repeat that, but. We got a reactor, we got a boiler and a turbine and induction matrix set up. We are producing polonium. We're about halfway there to the SPS stuff that we need. And we have enough plutonium for the SPS. So definitely next week. Well, actually not next week, but on Sunday, Saturday, Saturday. When we stream again. We will be able to make our SPS casing, our SPS super, super critical phase shifter, that guy. Well, that gives us another provider. Nice. Yeah, I don't need the provider, though. I want the other guy. Um. Oh, I... Did I not pick up Polonium Pellet? There we go. Wait, was that? Okay. Whew. I thought that was like... I saw the green thing. I was like, oh wait, is that radioactive? Shit. Okay. Luckily it wasn't. Okay. But yeah, we got pretty good. Pretty far. Uh, we'll be back on Saturday to where we'll do the SBS, work towards antimatter, and then we'll start hostile neural networks and finish out blue skies. And we really need to go and do Hexerai. We haven't even done any of this stuff. So maybe we'll go back and kind of do that. And we really, I've been putting off Batania. I'm pretty sure eventually we're going to have to get into Batania. Because I think Batania blocks Blood Magic. And we need Blood Magic to get into Avaricia. So we need to get into Blood Magic. You need to sit down and make flowers, yeah. Yeah, well, we'll get there. But, appreciate you guys hanging out. Make sure to go subscribe over on YouTube. I put the link in chat. It doesn't cost anything. If you can, please go subscribe. We're at 508 subscribers as of this morning when I checked. And we're... Getting closer to our goal of a thousand. We gotta get back to a thousand. And then we gotta work on our watch hours. I haven't even looked at that yet. One thing at a time. The Twitch VOD should go up to YouTube probably Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to go check me out. We will be back Saturday at our usual time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Also, make sure to check me out on Discord for when I go live for like any bonus streams and such. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Thanks, Kat and Calix and Avi Navy. And appreciate the new follow, Shiro. And with that, guys, appreciate you hanging out. And I will catch you next time. Peace out.